All right, what's up, guys? I'm back on Facebook Live. I'm setting up to do, um, I never had an Instagram Live before, so right now the Facebook Live is on my computer, and I'm going to do the Instagram on uh, my phone here, so I'm just getting that set up real quick. Technology. Um, last week, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to do this Facebook Live every Sunday afternoon. So, um, hold on one second, just get Instagram on here, and i got to flip the camera around. There we go. All right, so I just said Instagram Live on my phone right behind my uh, computer there. So last week I told myself that every Sunday afternoon I was going to do Facebook Live videos. So I wanted to make sure that I was here um, doing it. And I know it's a little later than it was last week, but I'm going to hang out with my best friend here, Daryl, pretty much um, all day. So I'm running a little behind. But like I said, I wanted to jump on here and make sure I figured it would be a cool idea. Last week I talked about what fitness has become for me. So this week, I want to talk a little bit about maybe what fitness has become for Daryl. So I asked him if he wanted to join us because uh, we've kind of been through a little bit similar, but a lot of differences also. So um, you want to introduce yourself to the people that don't know who you are? Most people probably do, but uh, yeah, for, your, for your, eh, those of y'all that do not know, um, I'm Daryl. I feel like uh, if you know Phil, then you know myself, and if you know myself, then you know Phil. Um, best friend since we were about nine years old yeah third, third grade third grade uh time period um what up mike i see you over there on instagram uh so anyway um yeah phil uh, phil kind of did a video last week of what fitness is to him um and how he's kind of used it um in other aspects of his life um start off by saying uh, i'm not a um a, a competitive athlete and I am not somebody who is a, uh, I'm not a, a personal trainer by any means, uh, but I do take it pretty seriously and I do train regularly and I do care about my diet and, and being in decent shape. Uh, I've learned a lot from my, my friend Phil here. Um, but yeah, so we can kind of... Well, just so like, kind of like for me, I think I've talked about the phases that I've been through. You know, in high school, I wasn't active at all. Daryl played football in high school, so I think everyone here knows that uh, my mom passed away when I was in high school, and at that point, I kind of stopped doing sports and stuff. And I got that's when I became, you know, my weight started to gain and I, confidence went down and all that good stuff. But Daryl, in, in high school, even though we were best friends, was kind of different. He was more popular, I guess. He played football and all that good stuff. So he was being pushed by these coaches. So kind of maybe through high, talk about maybe what you did during high school versus afterwards. Okay, so I guess that kind of does mark the beginning of my fitness journey, um, for lack of a better word. Uh, right. I, in, in high school, it was all about um, my performance. If I could perform, uh, I was a football player, power lifter. Um, it was all about how I, how I could perform. If I could get through that day in practice and um, I could look good for the coach and look good for my team, then, um, then that was good enough. Uh, I was just kind of being pushed by the coaches. I didn't have any prior knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do any research. I just did what they said and, and went through those motions every day um, until I graduated high school. Um, so I guess. Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. I'll be right back. Stand by, everybody. Tell, tell, tell them your story. Uh, so I kind of graduated high school. Um, and I was not a collegiate athlete by any means, so I kind of fell off after that. I didn't care too much about um, about working out. Actually, I didn't work out very much. Um, I kind of ate whatever was easy and whatever tasted good. Um, and I, I that's the point where I realized that uh, how quickly you know you can go you can go downhill as far as your physique is concerned and um, and how, 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 how quickly all that can go away. Uh, so, you know, when you go from being very active uh, kid in high school, 17 years old, to graduating and, um, you know, eating fast food and taqueria and drinking a whole shit ton of beer, um, you realize how quickly that that can be taken away from you. Um, so then I jump right into that next phase of my, um, of, of, I guess, my fitness journey and um the next phase is so i'm like i realize oh i'm out of shape 
Uh, my body doesn't perform like it used to. I don't look good. Um, I'm early 20s at this point. Oh, I, sorry. I whoa, 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 whoa. I'm back. He's right. back. Let's continue. Sorry. So we went through high school, um, stopped working out, How realized how fast um, mm-hmm. it, it can go from looking good and being, uh, being able to perform and not being able to. And now I'm talking about how I got scared because I realized that I didn't look good anymore. Yeah. My body couldn't perform anymore. I was fat. And when, uh, how, well, at what point is this? Was this like, uh, compare this to like when we started living together? What okay, so this? this is probably, um, as far as the time frame goes, yeah. this is probably a couple years um, before Phil and I started living together. Maybe, we'll call it a year. Um, so at this point, I'm like, oh, wow, you know, I'm, I'm eating like complete hell. I'm drinking a whole shitload of beer. Um, <laughs> I don't look good. My body's not performing. So then it's aesthetics, aesthetics, aesthetics. I'm getting in the gym, and um, I'm really getting after it for, you know, a couple weeks. And then I realize, oh, I'm sore. This is hard. It's not as easy as just mm-hmm. going home and sitting on the couch after work. Etc. So you know, I, I get into this this trend where um, I, I'm not putting my my hard work and my consistency together at the same time. Yeah. So after a couple of weeks of that, you realize after that, a little a short time period. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of that, I realized that um, I very quickly come to realize that your your hard work and and your uh, consistency. They they have to they run. go hand in hand. They have like, to run together. One is nothing uh, without the other. So you, you gotta can, have both. you can you can bust your ass in the gym and bust mm. your ass on your diet for three days a week and you're working hard and then the consistency falls off and you sit around for four days and then you jump right back on it mm-hmm. on Monday because that's when your diet starts. Um, or you can go to the gym every single day and eat all right every single day seven days a week. Um, and when you're at the gym, you're going through the motions and you're getting kind of a mediocre workout. Then that's your consistency without your hard work. Yep. Um, that doesn't work either. They have, they, they mesh together. I see a lot of people that when they start, they'll try to go like, oh, seven days a week, you know, I'm going to work out so hard, so hard, so hard. And basically what happens is after a week or two, they're so tired that they get burned they get, out. They get burnt out. So that's why I'm a big fan of like four days a week, you know, for people that really want to get it. Because if you can work out seven days a week, there's a pretty good chance you're not doing you're it not, right. You're not so, working hard enough. Yep. So, um, you know, you, you come to realize that um, they run together. So to answer the question of, of what fitness is to me at this point, um, it's kind of, uh, you know, I've always known... I was, I was raised in a way where I knew hard work was a thing and I knew consistency was a thing. But, you know, that something about fitness really made them mesh together and really made me realize that, um, that, that it is a, it, you can apply that to a, right. to, to a lifestyle, to your life in general. Yeah. There are um, a couple of the, uh, David, what's up, David? Man, I haven't seen this guy in a couple of years. Bruce Banner. Oh man, that's my first time. I usually get um gang uh, gang. Is that the Clark Hulk? Kent? <laughs> I'm just waiting to um, see the Hulk smash come. Hey, Bobby, Bobby Brumlow wants to go to the parking lot. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh, Hulk so, smash. I'm kind of over those days. Uh, uh, hold on, what? we got to pay attention to the Insta here. I know. Todd the Todd the Todd Todd's on here. Gang gang. Todd. Hey, just so everybody knows, Todd just did the most badass air conditioner install in my investment house over there in Hitchcock. Mm-hmm. So if anybody needs some AC work done, make sure you hit up Todd Walker. Todd the Bob yeah. Walker. All right. So, uh, uh, so, so to get back on track, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can apply. I, it Fitness taught me that, you know, I always knew what hard work was and I always knew what consistency was, but it really taught me that they run together. It applies to um, your career. If you go to work consistently every single day, but you don't bust your ass yep. at work, you're not going to stand out. That's what I was talking about if last you, week. The funnel. If you the funnel, work four days a week and you go to work and bust your ass for three, but then you know you're sleeping on Thursday or Friday. Mm-hmm. You know they 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 run together. Um, you, you can you the the list goes on. Training my dog. Um, I have a dog. He's four years old. Um, when I first got him, and uh, you know I'm trying to house train him. Yeah, I could stay on his ass for a, you know a couple of days a week, and you know he's learning to go outside and he's learning sit stay all that good stuff. And then I would fall off, and yep. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it you on the weekends. Stay on them. Well, guess what? Monday comes around, and my hard work didn't have consistency. It didn't pay off. So um, it's kind of um, it's taught me that 
in in life. So um, yeah, no, I'm not an elite athlete. Um, and so where where are you at now? Like so after all these lessons you've learned, where are you at now? And let, let's call it your fitness uh, your journey in your I, journey. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the favorite word um, for somebody who lives a lifestyle like me: um, balanced. Okay. okay. I'm I, I'm very balanced. Yeah. Um, I do go to the gym very consistently. I'd say easily upwards five days a week minimum. Upwards of that probably. Um, I do work hard while I'm there. Um, uh, I do. I do stay on track with my diet. I do care about the fuel. You know what I'm putting into my body, what I'm eating. Um, but I, you know, also will. Um, I'm not scared to eat some pizza every now and That's then. Right. I'm not scared to go out. Reward on, yourself. I'm I not mean, scared if you, to go out on a it, weekend. It, and, think about it this way: if you've been eating pizza three or four times a week for like the past five years. And now you start eating really good. You lose 10 pounds over like two or three weeks. And you want to have a pizza? Eat the freaking pizza. If you've been eating it for five years, like three times a week. First of all, if you've been eating it for five years, I'm a little jealous. That's, <laughs> That's first, first, first of all. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But, you know, for so long, one time is not going to kill you. So do your best. Get on, you know, some pretty, cons be consistent, work hard, reward yourself. Like, you know, I, re I read recently about a guy that, he told himself that whenever he had, um, I think it was when he had five investment properties, he was going to go buy himself a new car. It took him like two years. Two years later, though, boom, new car. Five investment properties. Yep. So you, you find that balance um, and and just use it. That This is just how, how I use it. Um, there's other people who are competitors. There's other people that... Um, don't really care to be fit or to be in good shape. Whatever the case may be, I, you know, I'm just letting y'all know how I use it and how my experience with yeah. it has been. Oh, I see a, a comment here. Uh, David asked, and sorry that it may took me a while, but because I see this is a few minutes ago, but um, you know, it was my first. We're we're rookies here. We're learning how to do this stuff. So David asks. What do y'all recommend for someone that is a truck driver? I don't have a way to keep made meals for more than four days, and I pretty much live in a six by four area, 22 hours a day. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I would do in that situation is learn how to track your macros. Um, if you can't, I recommend this for everyone really, but for you, David, in this situation especially, because if you know how to track your macros, um, you can eat anywhere. It doesn't matter. You can. You, I hate saying this, but it is, it is true. If you know how to track your macros, you can go to anywhere that serves food and make the right choices. So if you're interested in learning how to track macros, make sure you go to my uh, website. It's otgfitness.com um, and contact me through there and or send me a message here on Facebook and uh, I can send you some information, teach you how to track your macros. That way, if you do have to stop and you're eating, fast food or you know not the best not the best you know choices every day um you can still make the choices where at the end of the day you and he said uh what's a mac macros are your protein carbs and fats those are the things that make up calories so if um let's say for example you know you can get a meal and maybe it's not the healthiest thing in the world but if you know the macronutrient content we can now track your intake of your protein carbs and fats to get your calories and make the best choice that you possibly can. So make sure you hit me up, David, and I'll send you some information so you can do that. Awesome. What else do we have here? Tight ends for life. Oh yeah. Uh, Frost meat. I don't. Unfortunately, I don't know who that is. Get out of here, Frost. Get. I don't know who you. Tight ends for you were tight end in high school, so think about who was who is it. I think he's talking about the restaurant. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. So well, <laughs> anyways, okay. I mean, we've been here. Um, I think we got our our points across. Um, <laughs> Do you have anything? No, else? no, no. It's probably. Hold on. Who are you, Frost Media? Who are Media? you, Frost Media? Who are you, Frost Media? Is it Charles? Number, Number 44. 44. That's Andrew, right? Andrew? Andrew the Great? Come on, Andrew. Is it Andrew? Come on. Yeah, it's Andrew. We're waiting. We're it's waiting. Andrew G, bro. Yeah? Yes. The. Steve. Oh, oh, Steve, Steve Mott. Mott Steven Mott joined. Steven. Steven, if anybody doesn't know, Steven. Steven is our childhood best friend. That and is, Steve, he's, we're playing with the big football whenever we play football, buddy. Just so you know, yeah. no no more, what did he get? 
Strawberry limeade? No more cherry limeade. No more, no more Steve. It's not on your diet right, anymore. It's not on your uh, diet. Steven is learning uh, a little bit about macros, Dave. So um, ho- hopefully, hopefully he can. Uh, Steven, oh, Steven is using the men's room at work. Okay, thanks, Steve. <laughs> but, uh, Steve, I really do like, man. You're my best friend, and I want you to, or one of my best friends for sure. You know, you, yeah, me, Daryl. We're we're all like we grew up together. And I, I I don't want to see you continue. Um, you know, having a more un I'll leave it at having an unhealthy lifestyle. So let's let, let's jump onto it and, and do this right. And we're gonna do it together and we're gonna, you know, succeed at this thing. So um like I said guys, thanks for joining in. Um hopefully this continues to grow. I'll be here every Sunday. Like I said I made a commitment. Daryl just happened to be here. It has sparked an idea. So I figured we'd roll with it. Remember Consistency and hard work are both great things, but they cannot stand alone. Oh, we're getting some thumbs up now. They cannot stand alone. Who gave us a thumbs up? Let's get some more thumbs thumbs up. 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 Uh, Down 11 pounds. Steven's down 11 pounds. We have seven people viewing right now. Yeah, it's growing. Uh, It's growing. Yeah, it'll grow. It'll keep going. Consistency and hard work are both great things. I'm going to prove it right here with this. But they can't stand alone. That's right. You have to... You have to consistently work. Yes, hard I love the thumbs the, up. I love it, love it, love it. End result. So awesome. It's probably right, Kyle guys. giving you the thumbs up because Kyle's awesome. What Coach Brown used what to say. What did Coach Brown used to say? <laughs> Coach Brown used to say a lot of things that probably don't apply. Ah. But okay. uh, Andrew, Coach Brown was awesome. Uh, but looking back, um, there could have been a little bit better advice. Than, than what <laughs> all right, well, let, let's hope that our advice that we're giving here helps somebody. Yeah, that's all all we seven want to of here. y'all and all one of you. I'm guessing it's Todd. Did Todd, yeah, is I'm not Todd sure. still there? Todd uh, the Bob? A few people jumped in on Instagram, but this is my first time to do Instagram. So we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, hopefully this advice mm-hmm. that we're giving here can help someone out. If I help one person, hey, awesome. I know I've helped a few people recently. So um, let's just keep this thing growing. Maybe Daryl will be back. Maybe some other people will be back. But either way. Maybe, uh, I'll, maybe I'll reactivate my phone. Oh, hey. Let's get some votes here. Um, for anybody that's still here, I know it's been, I'm not sure how long we're into this. 17 minutes and 11 wow. seconds. Wow. That's a lot longer. We had planned for like five minutes. But I was telling them, like, you, once you get going, you just, you just get rolling. You get excited. You get amped up. And, um, but anyways, so if you're still here, let's do a vote. Um, or give us a bunch of thumbs up right now. Mm-hmm. Comment that Daryl needs to reactivate his Facebook so he can join me on this journey. I'm hoping they yes. don't. Yes. Come on, we got to see it. So, They're not doing it. Yeah, they don't we'll care. see some comments later or whatever And because uh, there's only a few people here right now. But the Facebook Live stays up for a while, and we want to see Daryl reactivate his Facebook. So for now, there's some. There they're coming oh, through. Oh, oh, Maybe oh. we have like a lag. There might be, yeah. My internet was being weird earlier. There's so, not a lag. All right. Daryl's back on Facebook. Final word. <laughs> We're out. Later, Later. guys.